Hello, so I'm going to go over some of the stories and rhymes that I usually do during um, story time. Um, just so you have a basic idea of what we do. And you can use them or not, but here's what I normally do. And I will save them as individual files and put them in um, our story time YouTube page. So that if you chose to, you could just play these for the kids. Um, but they're pretty easy and with a little practice you can totally do them too. So um, the one I do most often, and this is kind of an easy transition song, um, I use for um, transitioning from like we're doing some crazy songs and dances to alright now it's time for our story. So you just have them put their hands out like this in front of them and you go like this. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Now we're going to creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them down to your toes. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them up to your nose. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. So now we're nice and quiet and we're ready with our hands in our laps for our story to begin. So for this next song, which I call The Gate Swings Open, we pick farm animals. And I usually let the kids pick a farm animal. Um, a kid who's raised their hand, somebody who's, you know, volunteering a hand. Um, and, um, and then we just do the song with their suggested animal. Um, so here's how it goes. You put your gate up like this, and we're going to start. It goes... The gate swings open and the cow runs free. He climbs the branches of the apple tree. He falls asleep from the apples he ate. So pick up your cow. Cows are pretty heavy. Oh, let's carry him home. Huff, huff, huff. And close the gate. And from here you could do whatever you wanted you could do. The gate swings open and the chickens run free. They climb the branches of the apple tree. They fall asleep from the apples they ate. So pick up your chickens. Let's carry them home. Buck, 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 buck. And close the gate. Let's try one more. Hmm, what farm animal should we do? Well, I've got it. The gate swings open and the robots run free. They climb the branches of the apple tree. They fall asleep from the apples they ate. So pick up your robot. Let's carry him home. What noise does a robot make? Beep boop, beep boop. Beep boop, beep boop. Beep boop, beep boop. And close the gate. Okay, for this next song, I'm going to need your help. So I need you to get out five little ducks. And when I tell you, I need you to quack for me as loud as you can so these five little ducks hear you. Are you ready? It goes like this. Five little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, now this is where I need your help. Can you quack with me? Quack, 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 quack. They didn't hear us because you know what? Only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, help me now. Quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came back. 
came back. Now is our chance. We have to quack our loudest to get Mother Duck to come back. Do you think you can do it? Let's try. Ready? One little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mother Duck said, quack with me your loudest, as loud as you can. Quack, 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 quack. And they heard us, because all of the five little ducks came back. Good job. So this next song is great for um, kids who are just learning. So if you've got a couple of babies or really small kids in your group. I always try to throw this one in just so they have something really simple they can follow along with. And it's good for the, the older kids, preschool um, age kids to get it as well. So we are going to do a choo-choo train. Get out your choo-choo track like this. We're going to get our train out like this. We're going to put our train on our track and we're going to go on up. Ready? Like this. Choo, 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 up the railroad track. Choo, 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 choo. Then it comes right back. Good job. Let's try with the other hand. So take your train, make that your track. Get out your other hand, let's put it on here like this, and let's go back on up the mountain. Ready? Choo, 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 up the railroad track. Choo, 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 then it comes right back. All right, we're going to do another counting song. Now, usually for all my counting songs, I like to, when we stop and count, how many fingers I've got. So this one is Five Little Speckled Frogs. Five little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Do you like to eat bugs? I like to eat bugs. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are, how many frogs are left? One, two, three, four. Four speckled frogs. Four little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are how many? One, two, three speckled frogs. Three little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are one, two speckled frogs. Two little speckled frogs sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one speckled frog. Let's try one more time. Ready? One little speckled frog sitting on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. How many frogs do we have left? None. No speckled frogs. So this next song is about teaching opposites. Um, and it works great for that. And there's like a thousand different verses you could go with. I usually pick about three um, and change it up each week. Um, but the first verse is always the same. And it starts like this. Get out your two little blackbirds. And we're going to go like this. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back. Jack, come back, Jill. And now we can try all different kinds of opposites. Like we could do two little blackbirds sitting in the sky. One was low and one was high. Fly away, low. Fly away, high. Come back, low. Come back, high. All right, another one we could do. 
are two little blackbirds sitting on a gate. One was early and one was late. Fly away early, fly away late, come back early. Has anyone seen late? He should be here by now. Hmm. Come back late. Two little blackbirds sitting on a pole. One is fast and one is slow. Fly away fast. Fly away slow. Come back fast. Come back slow. Two little blackbirds sitting on the ice. One was mean. Look at your meanest face. Ooh, so mean. And one was nice. Give me your biggest smile. <laughs> Fly away, mean. Fly away, nice. Come back, mean. Come back, nice. Good job. You guys are so nice. Two little blackbirds sitting on a car. One was near, put your bird really near to you, and one was far, put him really far away. Fly away near, fly away far, come back near, come back far. Now this is my favorite one and a chance to be a little bit loud in the library but I always say, let's use our indoor library voices and be indoor loud. Okay, two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud. One was quiet, shh, and one was loud, ah! Fly away, quiet, shh, fly away, loud, ah! Come back. Quiet, shh, come back loud, ah! And that's all of the verses that I know to that song, but if you think of any others, it's really easy to just rhyme them up and put them in little, two little words. This one is an old favorite, um, but I try to change it up a little and make a couple of different verses to it. So it goes like this. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. But what if our spider wasn't itsy bitsy? What if he was ginormous? Let's try with a ginormous spider. Do you think we could do that? Everybody stand up. Ready? The big giant spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the big giant sun and dried up all the rain. And the big giant spider climbed up the spout again. What if it were so tiny we could barely see it? What if it were a teeny tiny itsy bitsy spider? Let's try that one, ready? The teeny tiny itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the teeny tiny itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. So this next song, I don't use it a ton, but every once in a while, um, we have a couple bunny songs. If I'm doing a bunny book or something, I incorporate little bunny foo-foo. Um, and I've heard it a couple of different ways. So there's like the traditional turned into a goon. Um, some librarians say goon is too scary. Um, so they've done shoe. Then at the end, the moral of the story is hair today, shoe tomorrow, which doesn't make any sense, but really the whole story doesn't make any sense. So I think that it works okay. I'm going to do Goon. I found Goon is not too scary for my kids, but um, you can always change it up. Okay, it goes like this. Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. 
down came the good fairy, and she said, Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. I'll give you three chances. One, two, three. And if you still don't behave, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Well, the next day, little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. Down came the good fairy, and she said, little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. I'll give you two more chances. One, two. And if you still don't behave, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Well, what do you think happened the next day? Little bunny foo-foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy, and she said, Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping. Been up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'll give you one more chance, Foo-Foo. And if you still don't behave, I'm going to turn you into a goon. Well, what do you think Bunny Foo-Foo did on his last chance day? Let's find out. Little Bunny Foo-Foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy, and she said, Little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. I gave you three chances. One, two, three. And you still don't behave, so now I have no choice. So I'm going to have to do it. Here goes. Poof! You're a goon. And little bunny Foo Foo was a goon from then on. And of course you know the moral of the story. What is it? Hair today, goon tomorrow. Ha 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 So that's that one. Um, it's a little long and um, sometimes the kids don't get it if it's not a story that they're used to. Um, and that's the case with any of these. If they don't work for you, just move on to something else. Sometimes they really connect with one story and not another and you just kind of reinforce the ones that they go with. Um, the other thing is um, there's always um, opportunities to learn more rhymes and finger plays. Um, these are not all of the ones I do. Um, these are just the ones that I do most regularly so the story time kids would be used to. Um, but um, a quick Google search uh, will give you a ton of um, awesome finger plays that you can incorporate and make your own.